from tracking suspects to finding narcotics, even comforting victims. The K-9 unit of the Pawtucket Police Department has several important roles. And now the department is working to increase the safety of the dogs. They're hoping the community will help. Eyewitness News reporter Michaela McDonald joins us from the Blackstone Valley Mobile Newsroom with the details. Pawtucket Police reestablished their K-9 unit back in January. Now with the help of a national fundraiser, they're hoping to add equipment that will make the job safer for the dogs. Meet Watson and Magno, two of four members of the Pawtucket Police K-9 unit. We have two uh, patrol narcotics dogs, one compassion dog and one search and rescue tracking bloodhound. K-9 officer Jim Leach works with narcotics patrol dog Magno. Detective Trevor Lefave works with Watson. My K-9 is a golden doodle, like a typical police dog. It's a uh, therapy dog. It's going to be used to deal with uh, victims of crimes, make them feel more comfortable in talking with us on kind of the, basically the face of the department and ways to reach out to the community, the residents, businesses. The canines serve different roles, but some are put in dangerous situations. The narcotics dogs will face the same dangers as patrol officers. They can come in contact with fentanyl just like police officers. Now the Pawtucket Police Department is working with the nonprofit Project Paws Alive to raise $18,000 for safety equipment upgrades for the dogs, including Narcan kits, military-grade first aid trauma kits, cooling vests, and an upgraded climate monitoring system for the canine police cruisers. And if uh, the temperature does get too high, the windows roll down and the sirens go off and I'll get an alert tone on my cell phone so I can tend to the dog. Project Paws Alive, it's going to help offset the cost to the citizens, the, the uh, city. And, and equipment that's you know needed to keep the dog safe. They're hoping to wrap up fundraising by April so the equipment can be installed before the summer. For more information on how to donate, visit WPRI.com. Michaela McDonald, Eyewitness News.